instead of watching your singing on your coffee wow. table. It's the future. We're going to talk about it when we come back after a station break. Of uh, television, what it's going to look like maybe by the turn of the century. Let's go to the news desk. Matt Lauer. Brian, Elizabeth, thank you very much and good morning. Thank you, Michael, congratulations. Michael Andrew Trefethen. It's almost like the winery. Yeah, it's yeah. Trefethen, no R in the back end. Right, right. right. Great wine. Name one that isn't. <laughs> um, Elizabeth Vargas is still oh, writing. You're in Provence, to Jerome Provence. Anyway, he's written uh, another one uh, now, this one called A Dog's Life, in which he's not the narrator, but his canine companion is. What kind of dog does he have? It's called Boy. <laughs> Gives you an idea. But anyway, a generic dog. We'll talk with him just a little bit. 801, let's go to the news test. No phobias, huh? None. No. Oh. Well, we were interested in you see with that virtual reality. I'm helmet. getting them, though. It was a different look, wasn't it? Yeah. We're Darth back. Vader. Yeah, thanks a lot. We're back in a moment. Station break. You are watching today, America. There was no blood trail leading to the glove, yet there was blood trail leading to the house via the driveway from the Bronco. No question about that. A little I have short, no problem with that. It's kind of, kind of nice. So it, would, nice. it would make me feel better, and it says, um, what is it, inpatient and outpatient? Uh, outpatient. Makes sense. And Nicole Miller, a very popular uh, designer, who usually works in uh, unusual fabrics, has come, has come up with one. Print fabrics are her trademark, but uh, this time she has gone through. After doing all this investigation, have you found what you were looking for? Well, my life has changed and really... Talk to mystics, psychologists, psychics, science... Good morning, America Sunday. I'm Antonio Mora. And I'm Kimberly Hunt from KGTV in San Diego, in for Willow Bay. You may remember that face from the movie Fame. Debbie Allen is also... Who killed them, uh, and the man responsible is on the CIA payroll. Okay, what about allegations of document shredding inside the super-secret uh, National Security Agency? The CIA, is it that good at keeping secrets, or are we going to get the truth? Well, it was an incredible week. The challenge DNA evidence. Did the defense blow it by waiving this opportunity in the past in January? You know, I, I think if you look at it on the, on the sort of funny things, Giselle, uh, the idea behind a mistrial is that there's something here that's interfered with the process. Why don't we take a look at some of this uh, before we hear more about what life was like on the prison ranch. Let's take a look at a clip. Well, I know where the great... Uh, of course, became famous uh, when you did Midnight Cowboy. Now you play a cowboy... Kyle and Jamie were friends long before... New York City. Dustin Hoffman played his ragtag pal, Ratso Rizzo, and both actors won Oscar nominations for their performances. Voight was just 28 years old. He went on to star in other. Now, the book is about many things. It's not just about King Arthur's court and the demise of Camelot, but you thrust the legend into the 20th century in a small town in England by, well, I guess, the reincarnation of many lives of those very court members, the king and Lancelot, etc. Well, that's a compliment. <laughs> Congratulations and welcome. Thanks Thank for being you. here this morning. Wouldn't let me have a ride. Cute. You're cute too. Right. But you don't have a go kart. <laughs> I have a go kart. Checking the facts, or is it going for different types of stories? I mean, you can have your facts still. Oh, I think so. I think so. I mean, yeah. I. <laughs> certainly have to master absolutely. that language, but not let go of, of who I was it's either. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. We're going to take a short break here, and when we come back, um, we're going to be talking about the Hispanic population and the fact that, that we need some people in politics new in the position, and uh, give us a little bit of history, how, how you got to Milwaukee and what you did before you came here. Well, I've been here since May, and before that I was...
within an hour of, of your, your regular right wake-up time. Yep. Yeah, right, that, sure. We all well, wake up because our body's like, wake us up, but believe me, then we go back to sleep. Now, I said best time for what? exercise. Psychologically, that all systems us. are go. That leaves it up to us to get them in the mood. What's it leave up to us? Oh, to get, to them, get in the them in the mood. Okay. <laughs> so that means you have to work hard at getting us in the mood at 7.45. Oh, <laughs> we'll speak till 9. Fodder for another article, glamour. I guess, in this well, magazine. The lie, I guess, is your glamour. <laughs> we'll be back. Fun article, though. <laughs> woman, in the last half hour, we were talking about osteoporosis and things that young women should do, and etc. We were taking it through all the stages that women face. But Nancy mentioned that even women who have begun menopause can do various things uh, to increase their bone mass. Right. And she mentioned some products that you can buy. Nose spray that she demonstrated. Maya Kelson, I'm told in my ear. But I'll always talk to your doctor first before trying all these things. So. Yeah, you always talk. The thing comes across and, and cleans it off, and you can see the thing better.